If you use Ecamm Live and you happen to have one of these little presentation clickers lying around, then uh, you may want to watch this video. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and this is just going to be a very quick one today and it's all about using one of these with Ecamm Live. You all know what a fan of the Stream Deck I am and indeed I do have most things programmed out in that. But sometimes when I'm doing presentations or doing uh, video recordings based on slides that I've got in uh, wherever, Keynote or wh whichever place it may be, uh, then sometimes if there's only a few slides and they're not too complicated, then I will just actually bring those slides in and use them as scenes in Ecamm Live. And uh, one thing I hadn't realized until just the other day when I accidentally pressed my little clicker button Button to go to the next slide thinking that it was in Keynote when actually it was programmed into Ecamm Live was that it just worked and I was amazed. So I thought I'd just give you a quick demo because it's worth knowing about. And by the way, if you are doing simple presentations and you want to uh, sort of streamline the process, then bringing them into Ecamm Live obviously means that you don't have to have your presentation software running at the same time. And uh, certainly with my aging Mac, <laughs> the more things that I can do to free up processing power, the uh, the better. So let me come into my, <coughs> excuse me, if I come into my uh, demo mode for one second, uh, then you can see here I've got a sort of example presentation. This is one that I did for a, uh, that uh, some slides rather that I used in that uh, four and a half hour tutorial how to get set up your Ecamm Live. So I had those just programmed in here as uh, different scenes and all the all it is is it's just a uh, the slide is basically the background for my um, my uh, scene and uh, I'm obviously using a green screen which I've talked about before um, and so all I did is I actually made the slides with my backdrop as the background for the scene in Keynote. So you would never know that this picture behind was actually just a picture, but with the, uh, <laughs> this was for my checklist of uh, going live checklist, but these, uh, the backdrop and the text and everything was just actually made like that in Keynote. But anyway, that's a little trick <laughs> for a behind the scenes trick, but yeah, one thing is if you just press the little advanced button on your clicker, you'll notice it's just going to scroll through all of these slides. And uh, so as I say, I do use Stream Deck for most of my things, but if you uh, if you want to have this to go through slides, it's a great way, especially some of the uh, stuff that I use Ecamm Live for is not so much sitting at a desk like this, uh, but more kind of standing and presenting. And so in that case, I don't tend to hop between as many scenes or have things like that going on. Uh, and so having a click it in my hand and being able to just advance to the next scene is uh, quite a handy feature. Well, there you go. I said it was going to be a short video, didn't I? <laughs> I hope you found that useful. I'm not even going to trouble you to go and hit the like and subscribe button below. I'm just going to take you straight over to the next great videos that are coming up next. Have a great day. <laughs>